Hello. Hello, and a warm welcome to Fergola TV. Today we are looking at the final group of functions on the Paver Operator's Ergo Basic Console. In the last clip, I explained all the functions for driving the Paver. Today we are looking at material management and the screed. Let's start with the material hopper. These two pairs of switches give the operator the option of raising or lowering the hopper sides. On the left-hand side, you will find the controls for adjusting the two conveyors and underneath, those for the augers. Each of these four conveyors and augers can be controlled individually. To switch the right-hand conveyor to automatic mode, for example, I press this yellow button. The function becomes active as soon as paving starts. If I press the button underneath it, the corresponding conveyor runs for as long as I keep the button depressed, so I am overriding the automatic setting. If I release the button again, the sensors regain control. Of course, this works in just the same way for the left-hand conveyor and also for both augers. For the augers, I also have the plus and minus buttons to increase or reduce the conveying capacity of the auger in question. If a specified value is set, the automatic system maintains it with the assistance of the filling level sensor. You can read off the value on this LED strip. Here are two more function buttons. Firstly, this R button for reversing the conveyors to prevent loss of material when moving on the job site, for example. Secondly, this automatic filling button located in the center. This is pressed when the first fill is taking place at the start of paving. By the way, the controls for material management are arranged in a similar manner on the remote control unit for the screed. Let's take a closer look at that now. The remote control units for the screed always control only those functions on the relevant side of the screed. The same applies to the remote control units for Niveltronic Basic, which you can see here. The top group of functions is for controlling the conveyor. The buttons underneath are for overriding the automatic system, when material handling needs to be managed briefly during paving, for example. The LED warning indicator located above the buttons comes on as soon as conveyor control is overridden. The following group of functions operates the auger on this side. For automatic mode, we also have a symbol button with an LED here. In addition, there is an R button here for reversing the auger. These two arrow buttons are for controlling screed width. I can use these to extend or retract the extending screed parts. At the top right is the horn, and immediately under that, the button for switching on screed float manually. If the screed is in float position, the LED is green. This button is only available here on the screed operator's console. It is used when setting up the screed or for deactivating the automatic screed freeze function. These arrow keys are for adjusting the toe point ram for screed planing angle and thus layer thickness. Of course, the screed can also be controlled from the paver operator's platform. Let's go on up there and take a look. From here, it's possible to operate both sides of the screed. Use this pair of switches to extend or retract the left-hand side of the screed. We have the same arrangement here to operate the right-hand side. The two arrow keys in the center are only on the paver operator's console and are used to raise or lower the screed. The function buttons for tamper and vibrators are located right in the center above them. The controls here, as the symbol indicates, are for adjusting the vibrators. The controls on the right of the LEDs are for setting tamper speed. The plus and minus buttons can be used to change the output of the systems to suit paving. The set value in percent can be read off the LED display. The button under the automatic system activates manual mode for servicing and maintenance purposes, for example. So, the only buttons left are these ones on the right-hand side. This is where electric screed heating is switched on and off. Use this switch to switch on tamper, conveyors and augers at the same time. 
This function is used to warm up before paving starts or for cleaning after it's finished. Finally, here's the switch for activating our screed assist function. But I think it would be easiest if I go right next to the screed to explain exactly what this switch does. If screed planing angle is too steep, a positive impact can be achieved on it by applying a variable assist pressure at both toe point rams. On the wheeled machine, this function can also be used to increase traction. So that's it for Ergo Basic for the time being. I hope you are now an expert in operating our classic line machines. If there's anything else you've always wanted to know about our Fergola pavers, then do just send us a comment. Otherwise, as always, if you enjoyed this video, we'd love you to like us. And do subscribe to our channel to keep yourself up to date. Thank you.